Hello and welcome to my channel. To find the value of any color on your screen, you need to use a macOS tool called Digital Color Meter. For example, I need to get the color value of this teal blue sofa in this picture. To do that, I need to click on the spotlight icon on the menu bar, search for color meter, and then click on the icon. Additionally, I could go to Launchpad, click on the other tools icon and then click on the tool icon there. Once the tool is open, I can just move the mouse to pick a color from anywhere on the screen. Color meter reads the color value of what the pointer points to. By default, the meter reads the values pixel by pixel as you move the pointer. If I increase the aperture size, the meter reads the color value of multiple pixels at once and the value displayed will be an average color value to, to be precise down to the pixel leave the aperture size to the minimum go to view on the menu bar to see options you will need to remember the keyboard shortcut command l as you will need this later you can lock the x or y axis with the other two shortcuts you can also change magnification on the aperture window, change the value format, make it update values faster, and show the pointer's position on the aperture window. I would personally choose hex as format. So to capture the color value of this sofa, I hover the pointer on the sofa looking at the aperture window. And when I'm satisfied with the position, I press Command L. The color value on the aperture window is now locked and it no longer changes by pointer movements. To copy the color value, I click on the color menu and select copy color as text. The color value is copied into the clipboard. If I go to the Google color picker and paste the value, you will see that it is actually the color that I captured on the aperture window of my color meter. You could also copy the color displayed on the aperture window as a picture. To do that, go to the color menu but instead select copy color as image. You can now paste the image anywhere you want like in notes. If you found this tutorial helpful, please like and share. To see more tutorials like this, please subscribe and click the bell icon.